up, ballers? Welcome to another video that I'm doing on Out of the Park. This is going to be very special. This is actually going to be the long form video here. Now, the first series of videos that I ever did on this channel were actually some of the worst, but basically it was just showing how you win at Out of the Park. And we're going to do it with the new version of this game. So, for those of you who don't know, out of the Park is a baseball simulation game. It's basically a spreadsheet simulator for stat nerds. So if you're not into that, this is not the game for you. But if you are wanting to get into this game but don't really know what to do, I'm going to show you how you win off the bat. This is just going to be the simplest way. There's not going to be anything too complicated about this. We're going to do a fantasy draft so you can see how to do that. So here you go. We're going to start off Major League Baseball, start game. As far as the team that we're going to use, again, we're going to go with the easiest possible way of doing this. So, we're going to go ahead and just play as the Yankees. Don't really want to do that myself. I personally like the challenge. That's why, if you take a look at my decades-long run, you're going to see that I frequently play as the Colorado Rockies. That is hard, let me tell you. Uh, trying to get any pitching going at, in Colorado is just impossible, so... Bear with me uh, on that if you're a fan. Eventually, we win, will win the World Series. But until then, we're going to go ahead and do this. So you can just see this is actually possible. You can beat this game. You can beat it easily. You can beat it in one season. So once this game you know, does its thing and loads everything, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and start off, as I said, with the New York Yankees. There you go. All my information is already pre-filled. We're not going to play in commission mode. You, you can play cannot be fired, but since it's only one season long, it doesn't really matter. So, all right. I understand. We're going to go ahead and go to... Let's see. Where is it? Game settings. Let's see. That's not what I'm looking for. Is it team settings? Bear with me for a sec. League settings. That's what I'm looking for. You're going to go to Schedule Fantasy Draft. Yes, you are definitely going to do that. Now, let's just take a look. This should be okay for what we're about to do. But you want to go check your Scouting Director here. Now, we're going to use the one that we got. Because if we go in there without a Scouting Director at all, it's not going to be a good time. Trust me. So, we're just going to use what we got. We're going to go ahead and go to the inaugural draft here. This is your fantasy draft. And as luck should have it, we have the number four pick. Absolutely amazing. Great start. Um, I have found that that's near impossible. So let's just go ahead and start draft. And now here's the trick. Whenever you're selecting players in this game, the best thing I can tell you to do is just go for pitching. Go for pitching every single time. Uh, let's just see who is... Uh, Pick before of course you know Mike Trout number one Garrett Cole Walker Buehler so you already see obviously Mike Trout's gonna go first but we got the first two are gonna be pitchers Walker Buehler is a little bit of a surprising choice for me but nevertheless let's go ahead let's just go to all starters because here's the deal if you can get a starter like we'll, we'll use Jacob deGrom as an example because he always does exceptional in this game if he can go seven plus innings every single time he pitches, it doesn't matter how bad your offense is. So we're just going to go with that. So we selected Jacob DeGrom. We're going to go ahead and we have Max Scherzer. I, I don't recommend him uh, if you can help it. I mean, it, it all depends on what you really want to do. But since we're going to be doing this for one season and we have to win, we're not going to do that. We have the choice between that and Steven Strasburg. Steven Strasburg has good stamina in this game. Thankfully, they don't account for a pitch limit. So we're going to go ahead and go for him. So we've already got two of our starters. Now, we need to go ahead and get one at. We need to get one bat. And we've already got the potential over here set. So we'll see who's the best player potential-wise. But we need overall. Let's see what we got. All right, of course, you know, first several pages are probably going to be pitchers. DJ LeMayhew is strangely the best hitter we got available right now. Uh, let's just see who else we got. Oh, my goodness. I We'll see. We can, we can still do this. We're fine. It's just funny that that's the best that we've got available for bats. But we're going to go ahead and grab him. Ah, 
F Felipe Vasquez, seriously? A restricted list 12 months. He's in prison! It's, why is he even on here? At least out of the park has finally put him on the restricted list. Okay, let's just get DJ LeMay here. Let's have about that. Alright, so next pick. We got a bat. Let's just see what other bats are currently available. We'll get back to the pitching in a second. Uh, I don't like Reese Hopkins, uh, Hoskins all that much. If you take a look at his stats, obviously he's not terribly impressive. I'm not entirely sure why the game thinks he's all that. This is what I'm saying about the uh, the scouting, though. Uh, you got to have a good scout. Anthony Rizzo might be okay, so let's just let's just go for that. All right, so we got at least two decent bats. Let's go back to pitching. We're gonna go back to the first page. Go to starter. And we still got Max Scherzer somehow, so let's just let's just grab him. We have got three five-star starters right off the bat. There's no way we're we're gonna lose here. So, um, hell, let's grab Zach Grinky while we're at it. And let's see who we got left. Wow, I oh, see the pitching is just going away. All right, we're gonna move off that. Let's just see who else we got. We're going to need a closer, but we can wait on relievers for a bit. Uh, Tommy Pham. We do need a decent outfield, so let's go with... Uh, let's, let's see what his... This is a good time to show you the stats. So you see over here on your right-hand corner, left field, center field, right field. Now, he's good defensively at center field according to these ratings. I'm using the 2080 scale here. You can adjust these as you wish, but I'm a big 2080 fan myself. But if we take a look at his batting over here, he's got great contact gap. His uh, home run power is pretty decent. His eye is pretty decent. Avoid Ks. Um, I'm okay with that. what he's got there. The speed and the stealing, though, you're going to see here later why I like this pick. So for Tommy Pham, we're just going to go with him. So go to the next pick. If you take a look at the bottom right here, it's going to show... You know, we have collected four starting pitchers already. We've got a left fielder, a second baseman, and a first baseman. We're going to have to get a DH at some point. It, it does account for that. Uh, I don't know. I don't really honestly know much about Williams S2DO. So we're going to avoid him. I think I've used him one time before, and it didn't work out well. So let's see what we got. We got Josh Donaldson. I'm going to avoid him. Uh, because he tends to kind of flame out. All right, who is Shedlong Jr.? I, I know this name, but I can, I can never remember who he plays for. Let's see. All right, so decent defense. He just looks like an average overall player. We need a decent second baseman. Let's just go for him. I'm fine with this. All right, so auto pick. Now... I keep saying we can wait on relievers. We can't wait too much longer because if we do, we're not going to have many closers to choose from. Uh, so we got to roll this Chapman right now. This would probably be the best bet. Although, again, I've not had good luck with him in this game, strangely enough. Uh, let's just let's take a look at relievers. All right. We're going to go ahead and just grab a couple of these. I'm, I'm going to go for a roll this Chapman because, I mean, it's the Yankees. You know what? It's fitting. Let's just let's just take him, and uh, let's grab a reliever while we're at it. We got Nick Anderson, who I always kind of like. Nick Anderson, I think he's pretty good, so we'll just go for him. All right, so all right, so we got a couple pieces in the bullpen. We've got most of our starting rotation figured out. Corey Knebel is injured uh, for six weeks, so we're not going to go after him. Um, what, what do we need? We need a third baseman. Let's check third base. How about that? Uh, Josh Donaldson. Kyle Seeger. Uh, Kyle Seeger, I think, is quite overrated, honestly. I think he's lost a lot of value here in recent years. Justin Turner. He's old, but again, we're just doing it for the one year. I think he'll be fine. Let's go for Justin Turner. Uh, so, what does that leave us with left? We need a catcher. Catcher is very important in this game because it'll take a look. Buster Posey is available. We're going to go for that. If you take a look at the right-hand corner, catching ability uh, and catch your arm, he's doing great there. Honestly, for my personal taste, I don't care if he hits a ball at all. So we're going to go ahead and just grab him because that's the best catcher that we got. 
All right, so auto pick. What do we got? We need a shortstop. Now, honestly, I would say in this game, a shortstop is probably not as important as you would think. Um, in the infield errors are going to pile up regardless. So, what do we got? Miguel Rojas. I I'm reluctant to, to choose him, Let but let's just take a look. All right, so it, defensively, he's pretty good. So I guess if it's what you're going to go for, I mean, with shortstops, that's I, I personally would prefer a good defensive shortstop in real life, but in the game, I kind of want a hitter. But given that we don't have a hitter, we're going to go with that. Personality, low-key. I have no idea what that even means. So, you know what? We're, we're going to go ahead and just give it a shot. Let's go with uh, Miggy there. All right, so what do we got left? We're going to need to get some outfielders. Let's take a look at the outfield. All outfielders. Uh, we're going to need a decent center fielder. I think Learns okay is pretty good. So, I mean, definitely not the best option. Uh, we're going to need... We got a left fielder. We really need a right fielder. Adam Eaton, I think, is pretty good. Um, defensively, he's okay. I mean, not great. But, I mean, right field's good always going to have your worst outfielding position anyway and I had good luck with him in the past so we're gonna go with him and that I believe should fill up at least one spot out of every spot on the roster so now that we've done that let's go back to starters see what we got left for our five spot because again I said that pitching is the most important thing here uh, I would never usually go for Charlie Morton, I'll be honest, but again, we just have to win this one season. There we go. We have our rotation set. Auto pick. Now we've done that. Let's get some relievers. Um, Drew Pomeranz, I'm not a big fan of, especially if you take a look at his stats, they seem rather inconsistent. Ryan Presley, he's been pretty good for me. Let's go ahead and go for him. Uh, I used to like Dylan Patances a lot in this game. He used to always develop quite nicely. Um, but he seems to be dropping off like a stone here uh, in this game, no matter when it, when I use him. Uh, Will Harris, he's old. We don't want him. Let's, just, let's go back to check closers. How about that? All right, so we can still get Craig Kimbrell, or Kimbrell, however you want to pronounce it. Um... He had a horrible season in 2019, but he, he does seem to come back half the time. I'm just not willing to, to give him a shot. If we take a look at Rizel Glacius, he didn't have a terrific season last year. Uh, Kenley Jansen's been kind of regressing a bit. Honestly, I, I think out of what we've got here, we don't have much to choose from. We might have waited a little too late on our bullpen, but it's okay. Um... We can go back to the regular relievers. I actually think that Diego Castillo will be fine. Look at those basic pitching ratings right there. He is actually pretty good in that respect. Um, he can throw a 98 to 100 mile per hour fastball. Personality is unchecked. I think we're going to go with Diego here. I'm just kind of running through the things that one should check whenever they're doing this. Um, you know, I need to get one more outfielder. What are we? Well, Charlie Blackman is available. That's I need a DH. Perfect. Charlie Blackman, it is. Uh, let's see. Auto draft. All right. So we have our outfield. We have a backup outfielder slash DH. Uh, Eric Timms. I think I just like. I thought he was a first baseman, and sure enough, we took a look at the position ratings. He does seem to do better at first base. However, I'm not a big fan of his. Um, I think he'd probably be alright, but I don't want to fool with it. Uh, Shogo Akiyama. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know anything about this dude. So, if we take a look. Shogo's not a media darling. Don't care about that. His basic batting ratings, however, I do care about. And they do not appear to be very good. So, we're going to just skip through that. Nelson Cruz is old. Don't want to do that. Let's see. Michael Brantley might be okay in most circumstances, but he doesn't seem to be too favored right here. 
And I don't think we really need to go that far. Maybe like a Jay Bruce would be fine. But his stats in recent years have not been great. Cole Calhoun, he's, that's, he's never been good. Shin Su Chu, he's getting up there in years. His performance is still okay, but you know, you'll know you get him and he'll end up dropping off. So based on what we got, I think we're okay. Let's just look for... Let's look for a catcher. I'm going to need a backup catcher. I like Kurt Casali quite a bit. So we're going to go with him. Although Francisco Cervelli, you know, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for in a catcher, honestly. I think he would have been just as fine. Uh, let's see. We're just going to go back to all players. See what we got from the start. All right. So uh, Craig Kimbrell is still up on the board. You know what? Let's go for him. Uh, at this point, I don't care. Let's see, auto drafting. It's basically gonna. I always like to get one more backup starting pitcher, and between you, Darvish and Justin Verlander, I'm obviously gonna go Justin Verlander. So if one of our members of our rotation should be injured, he will have a backup in the bullpen, which will probably be Verlander at this point. And so we've actually got six relievers uh, in, in in reality. So. We just really need to get a couple more. But let's take a look and see what backup bats we can get. Josh Donaldson's still on the board. I don't want him. Let's see. Uh, Kyle Seeger. You want to sometimes check the contract. Minor league contract. You don't really want to go too overboard with contracts because sometimes you have to, you have to make trades after this. Because you have to adjust. So we're going to go ahead and take Kyle Seeger here. He'll be a good backup infielder. He'll probably complain about it, but, I mean, screw him. Um, let's see. I think we're going to have to get one more outfielder at some point. But let's just take a look and see what we got. Uh, let's see. You want to is this injured still? Let's see. Um, Andrew Kutchin is injured. Eric Timms is still on the board here. I don't want Eric Timms. I'm not interested in him. All right, I got a right fielder, Abraham Almonte. Now, he's got quite a bit of power, but everything else is kind of lackluster. But as far as a backup outfielder, I personally don't think we can do too badly with him. I think he'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and draft him. All right, so we should be good. So mind you, there are 26 members of the on the roster. There are 26 players on the roster this time. So we've got... We need to get a couple more relievers. Let's go back to the front. Right, let's see who we got. Grant Dayton. Uh, he's got great stuff. His controls... It's okay. Um, maybe I'll use... Tommy Canely's available. I think that's who we should go for. But his control is not great. But we're in New York. We have to go with Tommy Canely. I mean, that's just kind of what we do here. So we'll go ahead and grab him. I'm going to leave Adam Ottavino out of this. He seems to suck in this game every time I get him. No offense to Adam Ottavino. Big fan. All right, I think we more or less have our Major League roster at this point because we have the 26 players. We've got two catchers, first base, two second basemen, two third basemen, a shortstop, a, two left fielders, one of them slash DH, a center fielder, two right fielders, six starting pitchers, seven relievers. So everything from this point on is going to be uh, backup. And so you want to, if you're doing like I'm doing and you just want to win the one season, you want to get quite a few backup pitchers that you can just dump in the minor leagues so in that case we are going to go ahead and get Adam out of you know just just for the hell of it and you want to get a few position players just in case Colton Brewer I'm not a big fan Drew Steckenrider he's never done good for me Chris Martin you know what I've never actually used Chris Martin in this game so we're gonna go ahead and just grab him uh let's see go ahead and grab we Hey, we're going to get a backup starter. Just grab one more starter. Uh, you, Darvish. I don't really need him. I actually will take Mike Miner. Mike Miner can be in the Miners. How about that? So, now that we've done that, go ahead and auto-draft. 
So let's just go ahead and see what is left as far as position players. Nelson Cruz is still somehow available. I don't, I don't understand it. It's other than just his age and his contract are just unappealing. And I, I kind of get it. I think I'm going to... Let's just check Alex Avila. My elite contract. I guess they're all going to say that until you actually draft them. I never actually bothered to check it until now. Alright, so we got a backup catcher now. So, go next. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. Uh, Howie Kendrick is available. I don't think I want to go for him at this point. Uh... This is actually one of those times where you could actually grab one of these injured players because you can just stuff them in the minor leagues and hopefully they're healed by the time you need them. Hopefully you don't need them. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like Chad Sabotka uh, a little bit in this game. I mean, in real life, I don't think he's that great, but in this game, sometimes he's all right. Uh, Joey Votto. This is a little too expensive. Daniel Zamora... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to grab him because I actually went to school with the Daniel Zamora. That's the only reason why. Don't even care anything about him. Uh, these are all just extra players at this point. We're just grabbing it. Break glass in case of emergency kind of deal. So, let's see. Uh, Ryan Braun is available. I'm actually a big Ryan Braun fan. We're going to go ahead and grab him. And honestly... I'm going to grab I th just enough to get us through. I'm going to grab a couple short stops because I seem to have bad luck with my short stops getting injured. So let's just see what we got. Um, ass Dribble Cabrera. Yes. Uh, and yeah, I said Ass Dribble. I don't want to hear any comments saying I said Ass Dribble. Uh, actually, I take that back. Go ahead and leave a comment. I don't care. Um, Gordon Beckham. You know what? No. Fuck Gordon Beckham. Um, let me grab... Logan Forsyth, because despite his rating being only two stars, take a look at his batting stats. He's not great, but if worse came to worse, I, I could use him in some respect. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I, I lied. I can, I'm thinking of somebody else. That is my bad, people. Um, you should not listen to me when I'm talking about Logan Forsyth. Uh, Marwin Gonzalez, we're going to just skip him because of his ridiculous contract. Uh, I still need an actual shortstop, so I'm going to go with Brandon Crawford here. You'll note if you draft these players, sometimes like they don't actually pop up on their position chart here. And then you're, you're just like, what the hell happens? Because they show up at their non-native position, and you got to watch out for that. Uh... All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab uh, Shogo Akiyama for a backup center fielder. And honestly, I, I need a first base. I need a first baseman. Okay, where we got? Howie Kendrick is still there. Um, you know what? For the pure hell of it, let's grab Eric Timms. All right. Um, I, need, I need one more. Jose Abreu, I don't want your monster contract just to be in the minor leagues. Um, Edwin Carson, Yuli Gurriel, Logan Morrison. Uh, you know what? I think Logan Morrison is actually the one that I was thinking of. Uh, I mean, last season sucked for him, but if you take a look, I mean, he's a little inconsistent, but taking a look at his ratings, he's got pretty decent home run power when he connects. And for a first baseman, I think that's really all you can ask for. And he's pretty decent defensively. And for somebody who's just going to sit in the minor leagues, I can certainly deal with that. All right, so now that we've done all that, we've gotten through 40 rounds. Now, for this kind of thing, if you're just wanting to zip through this, I honestly think that 40 rounds is basically just where you need to stop. There's no point in going any further than that. So we're going to go ahead and just get out of the draft auto complete draft we're getting out now we gotta change a few things before we obviously start playing um i didn't see daniel murphy granted it's 12 million dollars for him to be in the minor leagues but i actually would have grabbed him despite that yeah i am playing as the yankees that's one of the reasons why i picked the yankees is because of the payroll that i have available at my disposal versus a team like the marlins 
So that's kind of where I, I am here. Like I said, I'm trying to make this as easy as humanly possible for anybody to win. You'll see. When we get to the end, you'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick. And when we get back, we'll go ahead and start doing some of the setting changes and such. All right. And we're back. Now, you, after you do the draft, you're going to get this thing where it wants to automatically set up your team. Never do this. You want to do it yourself, or otherwise it's going to send all the wrong players every which way. So a lot of your players are already going to end up being in the minor leagues, depending on where you draft them. If you go to the waivers and DFA, you're going to see most of the players that you want already there. But not all of them, so this is why you don't want to automatically set up the team. So... We're going to just go through these, obviously, uh, one by one, deciding which ones we want. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious that we're going to put most of these people on the Major League roster. So, god damn it. But anyway, here you go. Uh, so that's going to be pretty much a rotation right there, I think. Put in Justin Verlander. Now... Because we got 26 player, uh, we actually have 28 players in this. How did that happen? I I don't even know how that occurred. Uh, we got 28 spots apparently, so let's go for it. So we got the 28 spots. That's uh, three extra spots that we didn't have. Oh, you know what? It's because we're not opening day. I know what happened. Let's just go to opening day. Nothing's going to happen if you just sim a couple of days uh, and wait for it to reset. Because if you don't do it this way, then it's going to try to reset your rosters anyway sometimes. So uh, let's just make sure we get to opening day. And it should go back to 26 players. Uh, okay, I don't give a shit about you. So we need to go back to rosters. See, there we go. It is reset to 26 players, so let's go back to waivers and DFA. Um, I always put eight people in the bullpen. We already got Justin Verlander in there, so this could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's all we need right there. So bear with me as I just get through this. By the way, I want to thank all of you who have actually been subscribing to my channel. I cannot believe that there's anybody remotely interested in watching anything that I have to put out, but hey, apparently some of you actually like that stuff, so thank you. All right, so we got through with the pitchers here. We got our two catchers, Kirk Casale, and obviously Buster Posey is gonna be the main guy here. So place on active roster. Anthony Rendon is gonna be, uh, Anthony Rizzo, rather, uh, is going to be our first baseman. DJ LeMahieu is going to be at second. We got Justin Turner at third. I always make sure I get the main guys first. That way, if there are any extra players on here, I'm not accidentally putting them on instead. So definitely going to put Charlie Blackman in because that's going to be hopefully your DH. Place on active roster. I always try to, with 26 uh, people on the roster, I try to go with five outfielders. It used to be what you saw a lot back in the day before the bullpen increased to eight instead of seven. All right, so we got two more spots. These are going to be our backups. Looks like the uh, AI actually did a good job of registering what players I actually wanted in the major leagues this time around. Now we're going to go to pitching. I'm just going to start by asking staff for that so it already put justin verlander in the starting rotation rather than charlie morton that's probably because of the star rating difference there we're going to get back to this in just a moment here is one thing that we honestly should have done before we said uh so yes i love this market size astronomical fan loyalty extreme fan interest 99 all right so personnel we got to make sure that we actually have some decent coaches. We'll be fine for a couple of days. We're going to just fire all of these people. Um, we, don't, we don't have to fire the scouting director per se because we don't really need them 
to be all that great. At least for this. But we need all these other ones to be decent. Except for the assistant GM. The assistant GM could suck. Alright, so for a bench coach, we're going to go with... Um, definitely not Mike Buck Showalter. I'm going to go with Mike Sosha here. I'm just giving them what, whatever they want. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, pitching coach, let's see what we got. Uh, apparently not much. Let's go to all coaches again. Um, I've actually used Buck Showalter as a pitching coach in this game, but it actually has worked out pretty well. So we'll just do that. Hitting coach. Go to hitting coach. Again, not, not much. All coaches. Uh, we'll use Terry Collins here. We're, we're just getting all former managers as just random coaches. And a team trader. So this is what is actually important. We're going to go ahead and trade our ratings. One thing in particular you want to look for is preventing arm injuries. That is very important because if you're going pitcher heavy and you start getting injuries like crazy, you don't, that you're, you're fucked. So you do not want that. If we take a look here, I think this guy is going to be right up our alley. He's got a legendary in preventing arms and healing arms. He's got a legendary. That's also very important. He's... The only thing that he's not great or above in is fatigue recovery and healing legs. So I th let's just check and see what, what else we got. I don't think anybody's going to beat that. There is this guy who has an outstanding, who has, I think, better overall. But I'm more concerned about the, the arm injury. So we're just going to... We're giving him whatever he wants. If he wants a fucking Mercedes, I'll give him the Mercedes. All right, so the rest of these coaches normally I would mess with, but we're not going to do that. Now, a couple of things we need to do. Manager options. Because uh, some of this stuff doesn't really matter. We don't need to worry about drafting anybody this time. Setting budgets. Uh, go away. We don't need to worry about signing amateurs. Uh, let's see, fired. Okay, got that. Um... I'll leave all minor league stuff for the assistant GM. Uh, react to trades we want, transactions. Okay, all that's good. Again, because we're doing... Oh, that's actually not what I wanted. Because we're just doing the one year, some of this is going to be different than what I would do for my decades long run. All right, stealing bases. We're going to just be a hell of aggressive with that. I like the hit and run. Not a big fan of sacrifice bunt. I don't really like doing the squeeze play at all. Uh, don't pitch around. Pitch to them. Intentional walk. And not so much. I will play the infield in. Definitely use the shifts. Uh, let's see. Start. I don't want to hook the starters. Definitely don't want to hook the starters. That's our main pieces. Relievers. I, you can hook them quick. We got enough of them to go around. I prefer the lefty righty. Uh, pinch it for pitchers, okay. Pinch it for position players, okay. Use pinch runners. I don't ever use pinch runners. It's not a good thing in this game. Never use openers. Just never. Okay. So we've got, going back to see what our lineup is. For the first couple games, not going to really matter. Well, whenever we actually get a staff, we'll do it. So first thing I do when we start a new season is we're going to play the opening day game. So we're, and we're playing Baltimore, so this should be an absolutely easy win in theory, but granted it was the fantasy draft. So uh, we're going to play the opening day game here, just so you can see that there's not a lot you can do, but why the hell not? One of the most important things that you can do, because the reason why I played this game is to try to get the pitching off to a great start so we don't exhaust the bullpen on day one. So you want to have what, what you can here. I, Boaster Posey... Or Kirk Casale, either one catcher would probably be fine with me. But Buster Posey probably is going to have a better offensive output. Uh, I honestly think that's fine. Although, Justin Turner being at DH rather than third base does not suit me well. I would rather have Adam Eaton... out in the outfield. Alright, so Charlie Blackman's going to be the DH. 
an enemy is going to be the right fielder. Just to double check, right field, he's pretty decent at. So I just want to make sure that I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put DJ LeMahieu in the two spot. Justin Turner is probably fine there. Uh, Tommy Pham in the number one hole, not a big fan of. Miguel Rojas. I'm going to put Buster Posey last, just, just because. All right, so this is going to be our lineup, basically. we got Lorenzo Cain, DJ LeMahieu, Charlie Blackman, Anthony Rizzo, Justin Turner, Adam Eaton, blah, 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 blah. So you get the point. Start game. So at this point, really the only thing you can really do, let me turn the volume down on my end. Um, the only thing that you can really do that has a drastic impact on the game is whatever you pinch hit. Otherwise, you basically just have the standard fare of you just swing. There's You don't even make the swings. Oh, we're going up against Herman Marquez. Oh, this could be interesting. Lorenzo Cain struck out. That was perfect lead off at bat there. All right. Because we're already going to have two outs here. Moving on to Charlie Blackman in the three hole. Looks like he's going to strike out. No, he actually hit the ball, but not very hard, admittedly. So this is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pause until we get to the end of the game. There's really not much else that really happens throughout this game other than what you're seeing. And I'm not going to make you watch all of this because this is supposed to be an instructional video, not a playthrough. So I will see you at the end of the game. All right, so we're at the end of the game. We did not win. The Orioles actually walked us off. But let me show you a few things. Um, we actually did use our pitching efficiently, which again is the point. So Jacob deGrom, I left him in just a little bit too long. He ended up giving up uh, most of his runs in the seventh inning. And then Tommy Canely just could not do his job. So that's pretty much where we found ourselves. Nick Anderson, uh, he of course had one run come in that technically wasn't his. That was Tommy Canely. Uh, putting too many runners on base. But that's the the whole point is so that way we don't get our entire bullpen tired for the start of the season. Whereas if you take a look at Baltimore, we see that they actually went through four of their relievers. Their starter, Herman Marquez, only lasted for five innings. So this is what we're wanting right here. We're wanting basically to use as few pitchers as possible to start off. So that way when we move forward, it's going to not be as difficult for us to be able to go out of the pen. Also, if we take a look at our batting stats, you'll notice, especially Lorenzo Cain, who had three strikeouts, our batting isn't that great. We went pitcher heavy in the draft, but there's a reason for that because starting pitching is weighted more heavily in trades than pretty much any other position in this game. So we have, as I mentioned before, an extra starter and either Justin Verlander, Charlie Morton, whoever. So we can actually make trades to adjust all of this in the future. However, uh, this is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, for all of that information, you will want to stick around for the next one because we will do some trades in the next episode. This was just the setup video, and we got through the first game just to kind of show you how to start off. And the next one will show you how to progress, and through the season you'll see the reason why I did the things that I did. Remember, we can't win every single game. The point is that we need to set ourselves to be able to win it all at the end of the season. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for checking into this video, and stay tuned for more.